Hello and welcome to The Gaggle, where we challenge and, if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samueli. With me today, of course, is co-founder of The Gaggle, Peter LaBelle, host also of RT's talk show, Cross Talk. Well, today, uh, President Biden is in Philadelphia, uh, the home of democracy, as the media uh, tell us, uh, to deliver a speech warning Americans about the uh, vile Republicans who are seeking to take away uh, voting rights of Americans. In the meantime, yesterday, uh, 51 of 67 House Democrats flew out of the state of Texas and to Washington, D.C., and then some other um, uh, Texas Democrats also joined them. So all in all, close to 60 of the 67 House uh, uh, Democrats uh, are now in D.C. So why are they in D.C.? Well, because they're trying to prevent uh, the uh, legislation passing in the uh, Texas state legislature. And this is the voting integrity laws that the Democrats are fighting tooth and nail throughout the country. The point is that uh, by flying out of the state, they are preventing a quorum uh, necessary for the adoption of legislation. And uh, why are they out of the state? Well, because if they're in state, uh, they can be arrested and brought to the, <laughs> physically delivered to the- uh, Love Texas, Texas. love Texas. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they have to go out of the state. Uh, the interesting thing is that means that um, the, the legislative session is still, is, uh, will be in uh, operation until the end of the month, which means they have to hang out in D.C. for you know, almost another three weeks, all on the public dime, obviously doing no particular uh, work. So I guess they'll be staying in hotels and whatnot, well, you know, again, taxpayers paying for it. <laughs> but what is really very amusing about all of this is that this is being done in the name of uh, voting rights. So in other words, the will of a majority is being thwarted by essentially a very underhanded little uh, maneuver. And let us not forget that the Democrats are, uh, don't stop uh, shouting and screaming about the filibuster, um, which incidentally is part of the uh, US Senate uh, procedure. It's, uh, it's, in, it's part of its uh, rules of uh, proceedings. Uh, but they say this is terrible because it's thwarting the will of the majority, even though the Democrats at the moment don't have a majority, it's a 50-50 split. But that, they are saying, my God, the filibuster is thwarting the will of the majority. But here they are celebrating. And um, Nancy Pelosi and Kamala Harris were yesterday embracing these brave House, uh, these Texas House Democrats for uh, taking this little maneuver and preventing a vote taking place. Um, hypocrisy, anyone, Peter? Well, this, this, is, this is a publicity stunt on, um, done um, by a group of cowards, okay? They don't have the vote. They're not gonna win, okay? That's the way it works, okay? That's what you signed up for and, the, and you took an oath to under the Texas constitution, okay? So it's pretty simple here. No, this is for fundraising. This is to uh, just to be, uh, you know, it'll be, you know, it was George, now it's Texas, okay? Um, you know, what, really what it is, in, in a, and everyone has watching this really has to understand is that what, it, what the Democrats are doing is that they want to um, codify and solidify all of the changes that were made prior to the last election. Right. Because, you know, state by state, okay, particularly in um, a purple states, uh, swing states, you know, this was all rushed through in the name of, you know, the, the pandemic, you know, that we have to quarantine and everything. And so what they want to do is say, well, even though it is very, very specious how it was done, okay, particularly when uh, 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 voting laws for president of the United States for each individual state has to be done by the legislature that is codified in the U.S. Constitution. Now, a lot of things happened. A lot of things were, a lot of shenanigans were done under the, the, the threat of, you know, COVID and pandemic and lockdown. And then they have the election. And now they're saying, no, 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 you know, the, the, this is now normal business. No, 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 it's not. Okay. Well, that, that, yeah. That, well, that, they pulled the fast one. No, but, you know, come on. 
they were they're a group of con artists. They got away with it, okay? And now the Republicans say, no, now we're going to think this through clearly, all right? And it says a, a, a hindering minorities. From, that's not true. Across the board, more minorities voted than in any other presidential election in history. So stop that, okay? Right. Well, that's a, that's a, and, and, and hang on to it. It's white men that it was a decline in voting. It was a very large increase of black men and Hispanic men. So this whole argument well, well, about- I think, you know, first of all, I think, you know, it's very hard to, to, to say anything very much about the 2020 election because the, the results were so bizarre that, um, you know, you'd have to you know, take every finding with a pinch of salt. One, one other thing to remember, these changes that were adopted for the 2020 election well, many of them came before COVID. They were adopted in the fall of 2019, where, because in the key uh, states of Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, the, they were the battleground states, what you had was Democrat uh, governors, Republican legislatures. And what happened was that the Democrat governors uh, basically got, got, got together and worked out all kinds of uh, little fiddles. When uh, these were challenged in the courts, uh, you know, the courts just simply wash their hands of it. And so that's why you really had these uh, absolutely ridiculous um, procedures that state legislatures had not adopted. And, and that, that's why it's such an absurdity. And in any system where you have such a massive mail-in voting, no ability whatsoever to uh, check the, uh, the, the veracity of these votes, then essentially, you know, the, the results were meaningless because what happened in many places was they found out that, you know, this is the in-person votes. This is how far short we are. How many votes do we need to find? And lo and behold, they went ahead and found them. I mean, remember on election night when Trump was something like 750,000 votes ahead in Pennsylvania, so they keep counting and counting and counting and counting and counting. That's it. We won. We've got Pennsylvania. <laughs> You, we can't have this again. I mean, and, and that's why I think that, you know, many legislatures are saying that we just got to bring this under control. You can't just have this kind of mail-in voting without any uh, means of uh, basically uh, keeping track of the ballots and checking the veracity of the ballots. Yes, and, and okay, I'll rephrase what I have to say. They want to codify how they won in, right. in uh, 2020 to make that uh, the, the rule moving ahead. Um, and and in the what the, the what the Republicans are saying, you know, we have to have more integrity. There were just too many ballots last time round. Okay, and I and all of this, you know, Jim Crow stuff. This is just pure utter nonsense. They like the path that they have that, that got them what they wanted, and they want to continue it. And anyone that objects, you're a racist. That's right. not true. Okay. Right. Right. And, right. and if you look at, and particularly with voter ID, which is, it's really extraordinary that we saw last week, boy, they turned on a dime. Oh, I've always been for voter ID. Oh, of course I've always been there. There's tons of video, you know, of all these people saying that it's just racism, it's Jim Crow and all that. And they, and they know, and, and the Democrats know in individual states and they know nationwide that they're not on the right side of this one. In the 70 and 80 percentiles, minority are saying, of course you have to have an ID. And then Kamala Harris saying, you know, but that would be discriminatory because people can't make copies of them. Right. Is she, is she, has she lived in America recently? Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's really bizarre to me. Right. Um, and, and, and one of the things is that one people should, uh, we should always remember in the way I look at, when I look at voter integrity and, and the process of it, everybody, including poor people, because it's discriminatory against poor people. That's why they have longer hours, but I, I, it has to be on one day, okay? Right. So, and, and, and also, you know, they, it, it should, they should be dis dispensations for people to get an extra little, uh, you know, 90 extra minutes, two hours from work to vote, but not this three week thing. No, right. no, 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 no. We had enough of that. Okay. Right. I mean, if Brazil and Venezuela can count in an evening, America should be able to also, well, that's right. also with the Texas law. 
there, there's this, you know, about transgender sports in there and all kinds of other little goodies that they put it in there and they say, oh, this is all about voter integrity. No, it's not. You're putting your uh, agenda that doesn't have majoritarian support and you're shoving it down people's throat. And on top of it, like you said, George, at the very top, there's no way in hell they're gonna get, they're gonna get what they want. No way, uh, uh, Abbott, the, the governor, and you have to remember the governor in Texas is very, very weak compared to other uh, states, but he can keep calling them into special session until the vote is taken care of. So this is a publicity stunt. Well, they can keep doing this. I mean, I think they'll, they, they're obviously going to keep uh, every time this vote is going to come up, they're going to uh, fly out of state um, and play this game. I, I, I don't know how long they can go on playing this game. Uh, maybe they can't go on play it indefinitely, but they'll play it for quite a while. Well, I think uh, if they come back to the state of Texas, they can be, they can be arrested. That's right. Well, they're not going to do it until the session has come to an end. I think it comes to an end at the end of uh, this month. Um, then they'll come back. But then, of course, um, um, Abbott will have another session uh, and, and so on. I, I guess they're going to keep doing this for as long as uh, they can. Uh, it's very amusing, as I say, that uh, they're getting this uh, wonderful um, uh, publicity. Of course, New York Times celebrates it. Uh, as, as I was saying earlier, Kamala Harris, you know, wonderful, you're great. Um, so again, you, can, you, you do wonder, you're not doing your job. I mean, you're supposed to be a legislator. You, know, you see, it's, <laughs> you're supposed to be sitting in well, the legislature legislating. Uh, why are you hanging around in D.C., staying uh, in hotels and presumably eating out um, in, in nice? Well, I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. but then it'll start it'll start being on their dime because then they can just uh, uh, Abbott can have the budget cut se sequestered. And if you want to stay in Washington and eat in fancy restaurants, it's on your dime because it's not going to be funded by the taxpayer. OK, I mean, he has it over them. My sense is that I, I don't know the nitty gritties of the individuals in the uh, legislative bodies of, of Texas, but I would assume that most of them are people of means, okay? So they can, I mean, it, it, it's, none of them are worried, oh, I'm gonna be cut off from Abbott. I, I don't think any of them are thinking that way, okay? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, yeah, I, I, I don't but, know. But, the, mean, but, but the, the, the all other, uh, all the other services, you know, the, the, the staffers, the people in the cafeteria, oh, they're, they're gonna, they will go without pay because Abbott has the power to shut it down. Right. Okay, so these these uh, cowards that are sitting in DC restaurants, all of the people that serve you, the police, the waiters, the cleaning ladies, the staffers, they're going to go without because of your, your, your drive for to propagandize something that you can't win and you won't do your job that you were elected to do and you're paid to do. Right, right. Uh, no, I, uh, that's right. Um, but but it, it, it's, it is sort of just hilarious in this way of um, trying to thwart the will of the majority because you have a majority. I mean, you have a majority in favor of legislation. You know, you don't like the legislation. Okay, win election, become the majority, you don't do it. <laughs> but you can't just simply say, well, no, uh, we, we can't win election. We won't be the majority. So what we'll do, we'll just, you know, pick up our toys and go home. I mean, it's like, you know, well, I can't really win this, this football match. So I'm just not going to play, and I'm going to say that I won. Um, so, but that's that's kind of what what they're doing. And and again, it's it is the, the height of absurdity for all of this Harris and Pelosi in the New York Times celebrating these people while they're screaming about, oh my God, the electoral college is undemocratic. Oh my God, the filibuster is undemocratic. We want the majority rule, except of course, when the majority goes against us and then you know we'll play, we'll, we'll grab whatever procedure we can. But you, you've heard it many, many times here on the gavel. Democracy for them is only a means to power. Yeah. And if, you, if it isn't that, the, uh, that if the, that means can't be um, uh, um, uh, rigged to, to give you power, you'll find, you, then you say, oh, the system is unfair. Okay, it's always one-sided. It's always one direction, okay? And it defies logic, all right? So here are these public officials um, um, uh, uh, betraying their oath. And, and I, I take that very seriously, just to score points. And that's what they're doing. They're looking at donors, um, you know, it, 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 this is a, a virtue signaling. Um, and at the end of the day, they're going to lose. Okay, so and I, it, this can um, move against them. You know, they, they think this is a guaranteed sl slam dunk for them. I don't think so. Okay, at the end of the day, this is how the process works. Okay, and that and they have the, the Republicans have a majority for a reason. All right, 
because they didn't, they didn't, they're not, people are not attracted to the, uh, the Democrats' message. And this kind of shenanigans, I'll tell you, George, it doesn't go down well in Texas. No. It, it doesn't go down well in Texas. I, I, I don't know, though, how long you can go on playing this game. Um, I mean, you say that they, can't, that, that they can't go on playing it indefinitely. And that may be right. They, they, they may not be able to play it indefinitely. They've been playing it now for a while. This has been going on for- Well, this months. happened in 2003, um, right? Yeah, yeah. 2003. No, but I mean, this, this particular legislation, they've already done this once before. So, um, so this is again that this is the second time that they're doing it. Uh, I, I don't know, you know, how, how long they can do it. You know, to be honest, I, I guess I don't feel that the Republicans are that, uh, that have such a stomach for a fight. So I, I, I always feel, and maybe the Democrats themselves suspect that this is the case, that the Republicans will cave. Well, uh, I, 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 I don't at, at a certain point. I think uh, Abbott has thrown down the gauntlet. I, I can't see how he can walk away from this here. I mean, if they stay away when the session ends and they come into town, they're going to, he'll call a special session. They will be arrested. They will be sequestered and they will be brought to the premises of the, of the, uh, of the uh, Capitol and they'll be made to stay until they vote. And they can vote against. And they can vote against. Uh, um, well, I don't know. I, I've never been that impressed by uh, Abbott, and uh, and and I, I don't. Always a chance. <laughs> I'm not impressed with him either. No. Okay. So we'll you know we'll see what it happens. It'd be nice if if it, it had to reach that conclusion, but you know historical experience have taught me the Democrats are very good at uh, at these at fighting. Republicans are not so good at fighting, and uh, and I and I kind of think that you know maybe they'll work something out. Republicans, will, you know, Abbott will water down the legislation, and the Democrats will uh, sign on to it. And a watered down legislation is is pretty bit good for nothing because then you can you know you can basically cheat as as much well, as. Well, George, can. it's one of those situations we're going to have to say wait and see. Well, wait, wait and see. I, because I think. You know, they're, the, 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 the Democrats are, are, are planting a, a flag now. And I think they, the Republicans have little choice but to plant a flag too. And I think the stakes are that high right now, particularly all of these rider amendments, which is very unsavory with a lot of Texans, okay? This is exactly how devious these people are where they always put these side things in and people don't even know that that's what was voted on, okay? So I think we're gonna keep an eye on Texas here. I think the fat lady has not sung. I don't know if you can say that anymore, but I still like that phrase. <laughs> okay. All righty, everybody. We're on, we're on locals right now. So if you want to find us on locals, we're uh, type in the, the gaggle.locals.com. Um, George and I are doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, um, uh, chats with gagglers on Zoom. It's a lot of fun. Remember, George is in Budapest. I'm in Moscow. So think about the hour differences. Uh, also, uh, we're hoping within a matter of days, the gaggle store with lots of little goodies up there, which of course you will all want to give your loved ones and friends multiple <laughs> um, uh, copies and items here, obviously. And then we have the tip jar. So anything you can do to help us out is always appreciated. Yes, and uh, we, we really um, enjoy doing these uh, one-on-ones, and I think that um, uh, you know, the more of them that we can do, you know, the, the, the more we enjoy them. So uh, do please uh, you know, reach out to us, and uh, we'd love to chat with you. Um, we are The Gaggle, and um, remember, if you like The Gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.